This is an advanced uh, topic here for uh, using the Magento Commerce uh, software for the URL, the URL rewrite management program. Uh, many of you are going to probably run across um, some duplicate content issues or URL rewrites. Uh, I'm referring to this part, especially if you're using the store, the store view selector um, between whatever languages you use. Okay, so this is a real example I'm going to use live. Uh, this uh, website, shipoverseas.com, uh, I built, and the target market is for here in the United States. So let's say um, someone in the United States looking to ship a car over to Asia, right? Um, if I want to select the language in Spanish, which I know a lot of people in Spanish are not going to be looking to ship a car to Asia. I switch to the Spanish version. Well, Googlebot's going to do this. And Googlebot's going to notice that we're going to get a 404 error right here. And in your Google Webmasters, a lot of these are going to start racking up because Magento uh, doesn't have a function that will automatically uh, redirect to a page you want it to go to. Obviously, if you have too many uh, 404 redirects, you're going to run into a very large problem and some ranking issues as well. Okay, so we're going to start off on uh, the home page here. And we're going to open up two tabs. One is for the URL rewrite management program, which is located right here. And the other one uh, is just going to be in the categories uh, section, manage my categories. Okay, I know that my problem lies on the previous page right here. So my SP store, uh, that is for Spanish. And I need to find out where this uh, URL is coming from. So I already know where it's coming from. So uh, this is going to come down in the category part. I'm going to select Spanish. And this is in my United States website. Spanish. And then I can see all my categories, which are translated here. Actually, let me go back here. One thing first. We can see that you know, we're talking about Asia here. So I need to find out what the category ID is for this. So for Asia, it's 39. Going to our URL rewrite program. I'm going to take this last part, copy it, and I'm going to put it in the request path here. Obviously, because we're trying to request that URL and then we get a 404. I'm going to select in the store view my Spanish site. And then there should be a part that says 39, category 39, right here, when, after we do the search. So right now what I'm doing is homing in on where the problem lies. And there we go. Okay, so I know that this is in the United States, for my United States website, in the Spanish version um, for category 39, and that's the request path. Okay, so this is how we overcome this. We are going to have to delete this one. And 
since this is not going to allow me to redirect anywhere, I can't fill out the target path or anything else. If, um, there's going to be an error in Magento. It'll just say you can't duplicate the same target path. So what we're going to do is delete this. Are you 100% sure? Yes, I am. And now we're going to write our own URL here. Okay. So we're going to do a custom URL. And we are going to select the store, Spanish, because that's the one that I just deleted. We're going to rewrite one. Um, we had said this is category 39. So ID path category slash 39. The request path is that and the target path we wanted to go to well now this is kind of like the 301 part where do you want that URL to be guided to I want it to be guided right here to the first main category so I'm going to copy this And I am going to insert it here. And I am going to do a 301 permanent redirect. Okay. So while that saves, I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to go back to my main home page. which is taking forever to load. Okay, so this is where the problem was. I'm gonna select uh, Asia, and knowing that people in, there's no people in Asia who speak Spanish, my, uh, I, delete, I uh, decided not to do the translation for that specific page, because it was not relative to Spanish speakers. Okay, so um, this is where my 404 needs to happen, and now, you can see that it leads or does a permanent 301 redirect to my first category page. No more 404. Google Webmasters will now report that as a legit link. And uh, remember, if you have too many 404s, your rankings are going to suffer. Do not submit a sitemap to Bing uh, with a bunch of 404s because they're going to think that you are. Um, not a trustworthy website. Thanks.